<laughs> Get the life nerd. Hey guys, Alkali Lake here. Little different intro for you. Today we are talking about grommets. Everything grommets and how they make everything look so much better. All right, so I'm gonna make this video a time lapse for you to make it as simple and as quick as possible so you can just get in, learn, get out. I know how you guys are. You don't watch the videos all the way through. I got you, so this will be fast. All right, so first off, you need to know there's different types of grommets and they come in different size millimeters. For example, this is a 12 millimeter size grommet. And then these are, let's see here, um, eight millimeter grommets and they come in different colors, which is amazing. So just know grommets can come in different colors, different sizes, and you need to make sure you buy the right size for your foam. So if you have a high you know, density, thick foam, that's gonna be difficult to get a grommet through, pay attention to that first and make sure the grommet will fit. Now, in addition to that, there is also very, very small grommets that can be applied with these grommet pliers. So the small grommets are very often used for fabric, but you can use them for thin foam. So, you know, ahead of time, before you watch the tutorial, just know, find the right size of grommets, and I'm going to link some below in the description for you. And on top of all of that, uh, by the way, this is all cheap, you guys, you are going to need something to apply your grommets if they're the larger size I talked about. For example, uh, the 12 millimeter grommet that I showed you earlier comes, well, it doesn't come with it. Sometimes it does, but you usually have to buy this separately. It's about $2. It's really cheap. Um, and this is what you use plus a rubber mallet to hammer the grommet in place. So make sure not only do you have the appropriate size grommet, but you also have the appropriate sized grommet tool. Again, these will be linked below. All right, I promised I would be brief, so this is what we're working on. This is a corset that I'm currently making for my Etsy store, and we'll be adding grommets to lace it up the back. Step one before you start working on your cosplay piece is to start on a spare piece of foam, which is an old scrap that you have laying around. And as mentioned before, make sure that you have the appropriate size pieces that match your grommets. So different size tools will attach the grommets based on the millimeters of the diameter for the grommet hole. Here I'm working with an eight millimeter grommet and an eight millimeter size application tool. The next thing to do is make sure you actually have a front and back piece. Just note that one is deeper than the other and the one that is the deepest is the front piece. Now I made a small mistake here and forgot to record the part where I drilled the hole ahead of time, but that will be shown later on in the video anyway on the corset. So just make sure that you pre-drill a hole using a Dremel and then find the appropriate size grommet, decide what's gonna be the front or the back of your cosplay piece, insert the deepest size grommet into the front, and then that will be flipped over and placed onto the bottom piece of the attachment tool. That makes sure that the top piece of the grommet does not get smooshed on the table when you use the rubber mallet. So bottom piece goes on the table underneath the grommet that you first applied. And then the back piece of the grommet will go on top of the piece you already joined. And then those two pieces will be joined together using the attachment tool and a rubber mallet. Give it a couple wax with the hammer and that will set the grommet in place. Now you don't have to use a rubber mallet, but if you've listened to anything Adam Savage of Tested, you know that anything is a hammer, which is great. But here you can see the finished product and you can see how a grommet makes everything look so much more professional. As we move on to the final piece, which is this course that I'm working on, the most important thing to know is to keep the, the grommets symmetrical on the back of the corset. So as you can see here, I'm using my ruler and I'm measuring out how much distance I have between the two edges of the corset, how many inches I have to work with, and then I space the grommets apart appropriately. The next step I'm going to do is to use a Dremel tool and the Dremel tool will help me drill out the holes. I'm just using this tiny attachment piece. They don't need to be large holes. I've heard of people using a hole punch or similar items, but this will work better and make a uh, cleaner hole for the grommet. And to make my world a little bit easier, I set aside all the grommets ahead of time and place them in front of where I'll be working. I make sure that I have a front and a back so that everything fits together very well and I don't have to dig for them while I'm trying to make the cosplay. And then for the rest of this, you can see as we did earlier that I'm just going to use the back and the uh, other piece of the attachment tool um, to attach the grommets to the back of the corset. Here I'm just comparing the two sides to show you the difference between adding grommets and not. Check out how 
how sweet this is. It's just so much prettier. Thank you for watching this video and let me know if you like this kind of freestyle style where I'm kind of walking you through my workroom, not necessarily doing like a full setup thing like I normally do in front of the camera. Um, and yeah, if you like this, if you learned a little something, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I have all sorts of content and a whole playlist for cosplay tutorials. And if you like what you see here, like these kind of corsets, I have an Etsy page, which I have linked on my channel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.